Alright, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I think... I don't really like the shoulders on that one, I don't like the style of that one. Uh, I'll go with this one. Alright. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. How lovely. The gentleman Isn't it? will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. If ain Kersher is Dithwin Adden in Khan at Morvold. Grimmy at art cancer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var emreis. Bow. No. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned, and she's in danger. The Wild Hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri... left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an Emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that, after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. 
enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Emir keeps his word. It's one of the things about him. Except when he doesn't to Lefo. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Oh, you did. Oh, you did. I just didn't give a fuck. Besides, Geralt bows to no ruler. Happened to the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We have enough breaches of etiquette for one day. And it's past noon. Calm yourself. <laughs> uh... What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard II, Prince of The scene has fallen in Novigrad. Not only am I made to wait here like a supplicant. Rad Sliden eh enekt es tun es es saur an nein fire. Master of the Tanner's Guild? Es es sieht efsat. Eb finser nein math thing. I demand. Nein kof hurtail an emf pavar. Es frag. Kes sieht. Du. Wisse vor atra es paes. Te de tage in den kaland ne es a voloi saur. Eb tu sa? Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Still worth trying. Because? Because there are few causes worth serving, even fewer men. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some weirbubs. See ya. Soon, mind you. Let's see, the cold-hearted bitch? Oh, I, I can't imagine why I wouldn't be eager to see her. And Yennefer is a cold-hearted bitch. You know, there should be an option just to enable subtitles for languages like Nov Guardian. Just saying. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. That quill sharpened yet? Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, your excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triplicate. A shame I have no time. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my, you've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. 
I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. One thing before... I didn't want... Yeah. Really? Let's drop it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vaatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. What do you mean? Ambassador Varatra? Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map.
What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. Took the Kedweni completely by surprise. King Henselt fought on the front line, as always, and that is where he died. His soldiers lost the will to fight. They joined Radovid's ranks. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Huh. Well, Radovid's strategy kind of makes sense in a, in a way. I mean, crossing mountains in winter, it's uh, stupid, but in a way. But then again, he would have overwhelming force versus Hansel, who would have tried to hold Edder. So if he didn't do anything, you know, he'd have a very large army, tens of thousands of soldiers. And beyond that, actually, Nilfgaard, like, you look where Nilfgaard stopped, you look at the map, you see that, uh, you, you look at that, you, you see, uh, you see that uh, Nilfgaard stopped at Ponder, crossing a river is a bitch, crossing a fortified river is an even bigger nightmare. Anyway. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality, enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. So how exactly does Radovid win the war if you don't kill him? How's the war going? I assume that our offense only a week. Radovid? Yes. Took the Kedwa. And so b That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, Radovid... Couldn't you... I'm afraid... Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever, perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. 
Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Fair enough. Ah! Okay, then. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. I see. Next, Ted up to a mm. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Gonna go all in. Witchers never die in b their beds. All right.
wouldn't. I am not doing it for the money, by the way. I'm doing it for the cards. Ah, piss on it. What? Well, this is what I get for playing against the eye at the start of the game when I don't have good cards at all.
All right. So finally got full test. That's that. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. All right, then. Well, of all the armors to for the game to switch to, it switched to the Witcher armor. <laughs> Guess it works, but that's not the armor I want. Winds howling. Gods, full moon soon. What's the rush? Your windows tell. Okay, well actually it was near the horse, okay. Both forces, huh? And both forces got their asses handed to them. Step away. Chaplin's praying. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. 
Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Easy enough. Oh, some audio issues. I don't know why exactly, but still. Heya. Sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. for a shot of Igni. Come on now. Okay. I think I'm heading in the right direction. Let's go. Well, not quite. <laughs> ghouls, all ghouls, all that stuff. Stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. A shot of Igni. Alright, just gonna go north. Uh, though there is one guy I want to find. There we go. Unbind me before the next one's come. 
When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black One smashed it a bit. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Okay, just gonna go forward. Shit, one's still alive. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times. Everything perfect, but the fourth is man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Now for a shot of Igni. What are you playing at? My bestie. I actually want to kill you, but I can't. Oh, I'll kill the priest as well, don't make no mistake on that subject. I mean, originally I accepted the coin he gave. Now I'm like, I have hundreds of thousands of crowns. I was like, I don't care. Killing a priest, such blasphemy. Geralt will rot in the deepest corner of hell. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the Fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. 
You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! You'll burn, Devil's Brood! If it weren't for our pharaoh that's ruling the world. Let's see that crossroads. I think I am, uh, yeah. Okay, gonna have to keep going forward this way. Ah, there we go. for a man goes by Hendrik what do you want with him want to talk to him what about give me a bottle of something strong you gotta go I'll open the back way for you Got company. Who is it? In Cape, Vorka. Who's this? In? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. When we share a round, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. Who are you? 
Oh, I. And why do you care? I like to know who I'm drinking with, just like you. We're the Baron's men, and you're in his land. A Baron holds these lands? Must be quite a man. Doesn't seem to care a lick about all the Imperials here. More and more arriving, too. Bloody Baron's not some poncy prick son of a rich lord. So no, he's not like to piss his britches at the sight of a black-winged head. This is interesting stuff. Our Baron's Baron, because that's the way we want it. And if that strikes anyone as wrong, well, we encourage them to speak their mind. To your health, and mine. Bottoms up! If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think to myself. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Hmm. Greetings. Baron's not from around here, right? He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folk say he deserted along with his company. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, they'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Bloody Baron. How do you get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out, but the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. That the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Thanks. Alright. Just gonna take a break here and then I'll go to Heatherton.
to gather intelligence about Siri. to win that war ravaged land his mission to gather intelligence about Siri well my job as it were is to find this Hendrik well I gotta say I'm a bit annoyed by the by shadow play here All right. So let's. Uh, I'll go get Vendrick. Hendrick. Okay. Nickel. All right. All right. What are these days? You'll not hide in time. Hear me. I'll probably be going for one more hour from this point on. Um, meet the ba uh, Baron and all that nonsense. Like there's a there's quite a few things to do. I don't think Let's I'll go. complete every side quest. I mean, sure, I'll do those that catch my eye, those that are interesting, those that are certainly related to the main story. But every side quest, no. When uh, Blood and Wine comes out, I'll uh, roll back to my pre and G plus save. Though I'll play it, uh, I'll play Blood and Wine without uh, without the UI as well. What do we have here? Yeah, just people praying to the gods as it were. Come on. You know, one quest I do actually want to find is hold on. I will uh, meditate an hour. One quest I do want to find is that one with the militant atheists. Come on. Why can't I... Wait. What? There we go. We're a bug. For those that... Uh, are not where this is with super turbo lightning lighting uh, mod air is strange like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day and the mist why are the dogs Gone. Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away. Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. 
No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. Save terror through and through. Hendrix screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Damn it. Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. The Wild Hunt truly are idiots. Come on. There we go. Tomorrow. Hmm. Interesting. Ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. 
Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige, also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged, ashen hair, scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. So much for an elf guardian intelligence. No, really. You know, is they ever explained why Amir is hunting for her? Nope. Never is. You know, supposedly the DLC requires level 40, that's... Well, at the very least, CD Projekt... You know what, one of the things I like about CD Projekt is the fact... With, with the DLC, that is, I couldn't give a fuck about the game uh, overall, but... When it comes to... When it comes to the DLC, one of the things I do like is the fact that they are realized... Then making a DLC, you should make it for people that have finished your fucking game. Because they're the ones most likely to actually play it. But for new people, what they did is you can just play the DLC separately. Hell, I would strongly recommend you just play Hearts of Stone. And when Blood and Wine comes out, just play that. They're far better than the base game. Or, well, Hearts of Stone is. We'll see about Blood and Wine. Not too eager on entering France, I'll be honest, though. I mean, technically it's an elf guard, but uh, Toussaint is autonomous. Slower. But, uh, it's quite different as a place. Well, we get Regis. People want to take bets on that? Mm. Hold on, I'll try to... Cavalry fight! How did a bunch of bandits acquire horses like that with saddles? No 
one of the things I realized streaming is that you can stream on YouTube at very high quality. It might cause some problems for certain people watching that. Though I've asked people, apparently, you know, the stream runs just fine. Or does it? <laughs> and the quality is good enough. I mean, yes, it's not quite the same quality as my regular videos. But it's not that far away, and the reason it is, although I record my local videos in 130 me megabytes as opposed to streaming in 9, on YouTube it gets reduced to about 18, 20, something along those lines, like far reduced. Anyway, there are a couple of things that I want to do. Gwent. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. I love the fact that he's actually talking about crossbows. Your stock. Too many games ignore crossbows. When they were actually, I think, more. Uh, like, well, it depends on the country, obviously. It depends on the place you're talking about. Um, but they were very used. How about you take a break from hawking? We play cards instead. I just wanted to know what card I got. You know, that's kind of annoying because I would like to actually know what card I got. Without having to turn the UI on. Got any vettles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. Because he's a beastly madman. Gurgles demon What's blood. What's new in the broad? Stop pestering me. An amulet, a bazaar, some tortoise shells. What else you have on offer? Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times. Let's play cop.
a botchling. Actually, is this a hard difficulty? For Gwent, that is separate difficulty slider for Gwent. Who do I need to ask? There's an armor. Okay. Making me a slingshot. Gonna hunt the bears. Should send him back to the witch. Might cure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I don't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's saying now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young'uns. Marion's lad. Now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Got some water rats last. They had food for days. Yeah. Mm. Oh. You know, I could just wait. He should. Mum, don't let us talk to strangers. Good day. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Daft wench. Leave me be, and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. You sure? Give it a think. Won't take no for an answer, will ye? Ooh, all right. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. My kind, meaning? Well, the witch-burning kind. Witch hunters have been here already? Nay, but we've heard tell of them. So, when I spied you coming, swords and all, straight away, I thought tales must be true. I'm a witcher, not a witch hunter. Hmm? What? Not one and the same? No. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes, if you like them skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Oh yes, Kira. <laughs> Kira Metz. If you like them skinny. I don't get men who looks to like Down women that aren't, uh, that are fat. Well, you know, a bit overweight, yeah, fine. Whatever. Average. No problem. A lot of the women in the Witcher, well, at least you know the main one, right. look 
pretty damn good. Ah, the cart. That's the one. The cart. Witch's hut is somewhere nearby. Miss. Cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. Anyone home? Of course she's in a foul mood. I get the peasants, though. They're desperate. War skill there. She's in a proper fury. Needs a man. Oh, don't worry. Now, where she run off to? Oh, I know where she has run off. Pentagram in chalk. Actually, where did he, she go to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. Hmm. Normal candle. Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. Don't often see bubbles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... A so portal. this is where she disappeared to. I find it ridiculous that she can't run to anywhere, despite the fact well, she's got well, a portal. Nice. Oh yes, she's got that power. There's no pre pre pretty little boy. <laughs> now there was a, sh you know, the short story where Geralt turned the moniker the Butcher of Blagvik and actually had them enter. I was enter wondering a how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Yeah, like the story where he he earned that rabbits can't kill the rabbits. What is this? Has Geralt gone Australian? <laughs> oh, true story. Australia fought the war against rabbits and lost. Built a massive wall and lost. Fought the war against emus and lost. How do you throw guys with machine guns against emus and lose? Oh god. Greetings, Witcher. Mr. Spot. Hmm. Where? Hope you didn't come to Gore. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Kira met deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. 
Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. Any news of your sisters from the Lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. And that is why I cannot simply ignore Radovid. Oh, the Lodge! I would kill almost all of them. With the exception of Triss, and I gave a, Triss a lot of shit for that. But no, Triss, Kira, but Philippa? Let me hang that bitch. Philippa, especially. Why I let Sheila die. I feel no, no real pity towards any of them though. They murdered thousands of people. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. Changing the subject. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses, and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen, and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything... Sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs, three hens, maybe. My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Hmm, you're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? Nature stinks. Oh, sod it, don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoyotel slob either, but an elven mage. What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. 
Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Ciri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. But you hated portals, Geralt. This is the place. Been here before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. Come on! Alright. Well. That will be it for now. Christine, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.